So I think I'm gonna go ahead and share what it feels like when you get malaria. It's after midnight, and I knew I wasn't feeling good before I went to sleep, but I, I just thought it was a cold. So I had the, I had like um, a stuffy nose and I just kept sneezing nonstop. I was like, what is going on? So then I finally uh, was able to fall, fall asleep and then I'm waking up now because I've got body chills. Bad. Bad. So, I, I said I was going to try to share what it's like to get malaria. This is day one. I'm tired, but I also feel extremely weak and I'm in pain. Um, it's like you got the flu. That's what it's like. It's like you got the flu. I'm pretty much going to be down for a good three days. The thing is, like, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning now. Whenever I have this malaria, when I wake up, I feel sick, but I don't feel as sick as I do at night. Like, right now, I feel like I have enough energy to, like, cook something to eat and, you know, check my email. But I also feel like I need to go lay down on the couch. Um... The thing with malaria is you wouldn't even know you have malaria. It literally, you would literally think this is the flu. Because right now, right now, this feeling that I have right now at six o'clock in the morning, it's like I can feel light body chills, but I don't feel cold yet. That part's going to come. For me, this is how malaria works for me. Malaria seems to hit everybody a little bit differently, but for me, this is how it works. Um... I feel uh, I my appetite's not gone yet. That will come to, uh, but for now I can I can eat, and this is what it means by treating malaria early. As soon as you get it, you need to be treating it. As soon as you see the symptoms, like um, my my symptoms are very consistent though. So as soon as I started doing this, like sneezing and and then like having the stuffy nose, just back to back to back. Because I don't I don't normally sneeze back to back to back. Allergies. Is something that I typically only get in the West, and that's because of the pollen. I'm not, I don't really get it here at all, so I don't, I don't have any issue. Even with the dust, it doesn't really do that to me. Um, after the fact, I might do it right if I'm sitting there and the dust is in my line in my face. Yeah, I might, I might get the sniffles, but even talking right now, I'm getting tired talking. <laughs> Yeah, so this is what it's like to have malaria. Um, I'm going to document this for those of you because uh, you know, because those of you love to ask me, will I get malaria? You know what? There's mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are carriers of malaria. So yeah, you can get malaria. Anybody can get it. But you have to know the signs and you have to treat as soon as you get it. So I'm about to take these Maylar pills. It's going to be my first dose. And I'm going to treat myself as prescribed and take... Um, Essentially, what happens is you take all of them, not all of them at one time. You know, over the course of the next few days, I'm going to wind up taking this whole pack of pills. Um, see, there's six of them. So over the next few days, I'm going to be taking all six of these pills. Um, as prescribed, they also have directions in the box, all that shit. So, okay, I'm tired of talking now. I feel tired. I'm on the Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is one.
Okay, so I got through day one of malaria. I took my malaria pill. Uh, you take two a day. So you take one in the morning, one in the evening. And so I took the pills. I took vitamins, like a multivitamin. I took one in the morning, one in the evening, basically when I take the malaria pill. And I have been, luckily this time, I still have an appetite, so I've been eating my meals. And um, I'm feeling a little bit better right now, which is why I'm sitting up making this video, or I would be still laying down. I have a hard time sleeping during the day, even when I'm sick. So it's just, uh, I really didn't sleep, but I was just laying, lounging around relaxing watching the TV <laughs> watching YouTube watching Netflix um, really a lot of it was just watching me because I was just kind of in and out but no real sleep at all so um, the one thing though that I get when I get malaria is I get the shits I don't know about anybody else but it just you know it's, just, it's gross <laughs> it's not like bad like like full-on diarrhea or anything but it's not good so yeah, but um, as long as you catch this early and you're taking your medicine early, you'll be, you get through it. I know I still look a little bit crazy. I can see my eyes and my face and stuff is looking a hot mess, but you know what, whatever. I am going to, I'm recording this, making like a video diary of it to share with you guys who are wondering about what it's like to get malaria. I will tell you now, the first time I got malaria two years ago when I first moved to Ghana in like December. I moved in November. I got malaria literally in December, like almost right after I moved. And it was around Christmas. And I went into full panic mode. Like I thought I was going to die. Like my, I scared the hell out of my guy. He was like, what is wrong with you? What is going on? You're not going to die. I was like, I'm going to die. I came to Africa. I don't want to die. I didn't see anything yet. Ah, malaria is going to kill me. And he's like, what? Do they tell y'all in America about malaria? It's not like that. <laughs> He's like, we have local medicines that uh, cure us from malaria. They're the white people medicines that y'all take. And then there's a the medicine made in Ghana. So there's tons of different medicine here to help people get through malaria. And we all get through it. And it's for a reason. We know how to handle this type of disease is not going to kill you as long as you don't ignore it and let it go so it wasn't that fast for me to calm down i'm telling you guys like i was in full tear modes hyperventilating anxiety while i was sick making myself sicker making him panic so this is, it took a good two days almost for him to calm me down because <laughs> i was convinced i was going to die <laughs> i didn't die and but I do get malaria. Uh, man, I'm telling y'all, I get. I feel like I get malaria like every six months. I swear. <clears throat> the thing is, though, it's like um, some people won't get it. Some people will get it occasionally. Some people will get it like I do. Some people get it more frequently. It's all about you know the mosquito itself because they are the carriers of malaria, and some have it, some don't. So, you know, I don't know the science of it. I'm not going to try to pretend, but I'm sharing it with you guys because you just feel super exhausted and weak and just you just feel all around bad. I stopped sneezing and everything, but now that I'm doing all this talking, I feel weak again, like I need to lay down. <laughs> um, so, and it's like 6 o'clock, right? It's crazy. But I was totally about to lay down and watch... Um, Right, like I, I, I'm probably gonna turn on Netflix, like a series on Netflix, and just let it watch me or something. I think Dear White People has a new season. I'm totally gonna watch that because that always makes me laugh. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I will keep you guys updated on my progress with this malaria, so you know what it's like and what you can do. Because malaria is easily curable, treated and cured here in Africa because folks in Africa know how to deal with this uh, disease because it's as common as seasonal flu. Seriously. Okay guys, day one. 
Good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning, day two of the Malaria Chronicles. <laughs> I am feeling about 40% better um, now. I was able to get some sleep, which is good. Um, the body aches are still kind of there, but not as bad. And um, I'm able to kind of like sit up, so I'm about to try to do some work because uh, I couldn't do anything yesterday. And see if, see how long I can do it before I have to lay back down, before I start feeling like really fatigued and just exhausted. Um, but as I said earlier, catch, don't sleep on the malaria, y'all. Don't think it's a cold. Don't think it's just um, the flu. Take it serious when you're here in Africa, especially when you're in like... Um, a tropical African country like Ghana where you only have two seasons of hot and hotter and you don't have like a, a true winter that comes along with seasonal sickness like that so um, yeah but again malaria sucks but you can get through it so this is day two uh, for me and this is the morning I'll let y'all know what it's like as the day progresses, but I am fiending for some coffee. So I'm going to try to make some coffee and I'm going to turn around and drink my tea. <laughs> I know it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Some things just so hard to break. I just love coffee. Okay. It's just, you know, it's addictive. I mean, here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget. But you won't let me Something I've been thinking for myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah When you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe a break. Boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget. Okay, so it's like 7 p.m. I'm tripping. Okay, so it's like 8.30 at night day two of the malaria chronicles and obviously i'm feeling better which is a good thing um of course i was taking my malaria pills the way i'm supposed to one in the morning one in the evening and i was double dosing on multivitamins so i had the multivitamin prescribed to me and then also had multivitamins that i had brought with me back from the states and so i took one of each um each day and I think that helped that along with the teas and stuff like the herbal like they have herbal teas with made with different things here that help to speed up um, your recovery and help you not be as sick and all that good stuff so um, I should be good to go um, by tomorrow uh, when I woke up I felt like I was like 40% now I'm definitely feeling like a 55% tomorrow I'm hoping that I'll be back on track tomorrow's my last day of my malaria pills so I'll be taking them um, my days are all messed up I know today's Tuesday and there was like a mad crazy drama going on in my apartment building like you know don't get mad at me but some of these little young hood rat boys be doing some stuff they don't got no business doing and mm, and the popo be coming, okay? Like, I was like, is this a trap house? Because I don't even know. And I'm all sick and shit, but I straight was watching, like, that little old lady who be just be watching out the window, baby. I was her, she was me. <laughs> oh, but I am going to lay down. I'm going to lay down because I need to be resting. 
Because even though I might feel all right now, it can hit me like a ton of bricks later if I don't take all the medicine and get enough rest, get enough liquids in me. So you can get through malaria, you black people, you get through malaria, so don't be scared. No matter you black, white, Latino, whatever, red, yellow, black, brown, <laughs> all these weird colors that they give us. You get through it. You just take the medicine and, and do what you need to do. So don't be scared. Good morning. It is day three of my malaria chronicles, and I am feeling about 80% better. Um, I have my whole cup of coffee here in a different glass today. Um, my made in Ghana coffee with something unusual, made in Ghana honey. <laughs> um, and it actually tastes good. It doesn't taste weird. Uh, so, um, yeah, long as you catch the malaria early, take your meds, you'll be fine. Today, I think I'm going to try to work out. We'll see if I have enough energy to do that, but I definitely am feeling much better. Uh, I think you can tell that based from when you first saw me from day one till now. Uh, if I would have waited like two, three days after I started feeling sick to take some medicine, it would take me much longer to recover. It'll take me close to a week to recover instead of like three to four days. I just can't stop thinking about you. 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 Day three with this malaria, and I'm about to knock this bitch out. Was that a double ink? Good morning. So I am done with this malaria. This is essentially day four. I have four. Did I put it five? No, four. <laughs> it is 4.50 a.m. in the morning, October 7th. It's very early. It's very early, but I get up early. So it's 4.50 in the morning. I've been knocking out some work because when y'all sleeping, I'm working. And when y'all partying, I'm sleeping. <laughs> And I feel 100% better. The malaria is done. I did what I needed to do to get it out of my system. And I just am sharing this whole ordeal with you guys so that you know you won't die if you get malaria as long as you treat it, take care of it, and make sure that you are um, just taking care of your health. And so you'll be fine. So hopefully this helps somebody. This ends the Malaria Chronicles. I will continue working till about 6, then I'll work out, then I'll go and I'll eat, then I'll go back to working uh, to do the things I need to get done. Malaria is part of living in Africa, especially in this part of Africa. So um, if you were planning to come to um, West Africa, be prepared for malaria. And that doesn't mean just know what medicine to take or know how to go to the pharmacy to get medicine or know how to go to the pharmacy to get tested for malaria. It just means that you have to become mentally prepared. And it means don't dismiss your children if they're feeling sick, if they start sneezing or coughing or become very tired and not so playful. Take it serious. Go get them tested for malaria, which is a, like a little, it's just super easy, not, ev not um, evasive like the corona test, <laughs> you know, uh, so that they can get the malaria treatment. And there are malaria medicines just for children that are liquid versus pills. And that way they don't get any sicker than they need to because no one wants to be man, woman or child does not want to be on the IV drip and have to have medicine put in that way in order to save their life. I mean, you can just avoid this early by not ignoring your children when they're sick, paying attention to it and then paying attention to yourself when they're sick. And yes, men, that concludes you because y'all always think y'all can push through everything. Don't play with malaria. Malaria will take you down like a ton of bricks and put you six feet under. Just make sure you treat your malaria as soon as you get it. Don't think it's just a common cold. And again, you can get tested for malaria. They have test kits at the pharmacies, almost all of them. And every pharmacy I've ever been to has uh, the treatment for malaria. That is not malaria prevention pills. It's just the treatment for malaria. 
they all have them. So this is the Malaria Chronicles. <laughs> Or my malaria experience. I'm sharing it so that when people keep asking me about malaria, you can see what it's like firsthand. Okay, I gotta get to work. Bye, guys.